The recovery time for a nose job or rhinoplasty differs based on the technique that was performed and which procedures were performed during the rhinoplasty. There are two basic techniques. There's the open technique where an incision is made in the skin on the lower part of the nose and the entire nose uh, skin and soft tissue is lifted up. And then there's a technique that's called the closed, a closed rhinoplasty where the in incision is made just within the nostrils. There tends to be more swelling with the open rhinoplasty result and less swelling with the closed rhinoplasty result. There's also a big difference in terms of swelling and black and blue uh, based on whether or not the nasal bones are fractured or broken in order to make this part of the nose more narrow. In the event that an open rhinoplasty is performed and every procedure, including dissection of the septum and breaking of the nasal bones is performed, then there can be a lot of black and blue and swelling for a few days. After about a week, most of the black and blue and a lot of the swelling has resolved. However, it takes about two weeks for almost all of the black and blue to go away and for a substantial amount of the swelling to resolve. Again, swelling in open rhinoplasties can then last a long time. The majority of swelling will go down within approximately three months. However, there is a percentage of swelling that will last for six months, nine months, or even possibly a year. It takes approximately three months for bones to heal. So after the surgery, a patient needs to be very careful with their nose and they need to protect their nose from any form of trauma because the nose is very fragile, the bones are very fragile, and the effects of the rhinoplasty can be compromised if the nose is injured during that time period.